Hello, my friends, and welcome to the collection section in the complete Java developer course. In this section, we are going to talk about the collections in Java, and we are going to explore this con very big uh, section and the uh, confusing concepts in collection of Java. And we are going to take examples of every collection by its own. Okay, so don't worry, just prepare your pen, your notebooks, and follow me. This is a, ve a very, a very uh, fast introduction and overview of the collection, what we are going to understand and what we are going to, to, uh, to study. And uh, we are going to take examples on every section, so you become a master in collections in this uh, series. So, the Java Collections Framework is a set of interfaces and classes in packages java.util and java.util.concurrent. They provide client programs with various models of how to organize their objects and various implementation of each model. So, the basic and the, 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 the primary usage of collection is to organize the objects okay used by program uh, programmers like you to organize their object these models are sometimes called abstract data types and we want them because different programs need different ways to organize their objects so they are data types example so what are these data types? In one situation, you want you might want to organize your program's object in a sequential list. So you need to make a list of your object because their ordering is very important and there are duplicates. Okay? In other uh, in another a set might be right data because now ordering is unimportant and you want to discard uh, the duplicates so sometimes you, in in programs you need to organize objects as a list and their uh, ordering is very important and also duplicates are allowed while another time you need to make a set of un of objects Ordering is unimportant, but you need to be, to, to be the object's unique objects, okay? These two data types are represented by different interfaces in the collection framework. We will learn how to use one of these in the, and all of these uh, data types in this course. Another example, a linked list may be better than an array implemented or an array implementation of lists for inserting and removing elements from the middle but much worse for random access so a linked list is better than array in case of removing an insertion from middle but it's much worse for random access this is very big example that you should uh, you should determine what data type you should uh, implement, what data type you should use to involve the better and the right implementation for your program uh, for your program to work fine. So choosing the right implementation for your program involves knowing how it will be used as well as what is available. Okay? So, <clears throat> These are the collections. We have uh, uh, above, we have an iterable. This is an interface. We are going to see all of these later on in this uh, course. But I want you to concentrate on three things. The first is the collection. This is represent a group of object elements and the root interface in collection framework this is the root we have list we have queue we have set so 
the three things you should concentrate on them in the collection are list, queue, set. Okay. Later on, we are going to see their uh, implementation, their children, their uh, subclasses, but just concentrate on list, queue, set now. Okay. Just a quick, uh, a quick uh, example about list. We have seen the array list and we are going to take the linked list and we will see in the next slides the relation between them. But till now, the list framework or the list interface maintain elements in insertion order, may contain duplicate elements, may have multiple nulls. Okay, please write this down. So you can, the list may contain duplicate elements and may have multiple nulls. What are their usage? They are, and they maintains element in insertion order. Okay, the queue holds element prior to in the processing. Typically, but not necessary, holds element in FIFO. First in, first out. This is the queue. Two groups of methods, one for which throw, ex throw exception and other either return null or false on failure. You should know that the queue uses and typically, typically FIFO, first in, first out. Set does not allow duplicate elements, may contain at most one null element. So when you don't need to uh, have duplicate elements, you need unique elements in your program, you need to use set. And later on, we will see the sorted set, navigable set, deck, and others. Okay? This is the collection frame. This is the same uh, picture before, but is, uh, it is uh, detailed more. So the three things that we need to concentrate, the list, the set, and the queue. Okay? And this, uh, this image shows us that the, the, the collection of the list and set and queue has also uh, concrete classes like if we see it is an interface here in the list is a list and set is an interface and the queue is an interface okay and we have two things Fr uh, and the three things sorry we have the vector implement the interface list the array list implements the interface list and the linked list implement the interface list. You see guys that the list contains the three, the linked list, array list and vector. We have discussed the array list and in the next video we are going to discuss the linked list and later on the vector and stack. And we are going to uh, to work with sets later on. And we see that set has sorted set interface. We have three set, linked hash set, enum set, but we are going to concentrate about the sorted set and the tree set. Okay? Furthermore, we are going to see the queue we have. The interface deck, this is not the queue, it is a pronounced deck. So, interface deck has array deck and priority queue. Okay, we are going to discuss this uh, later on, but till now, concentrate and uh, on the concept that the collection framework is an interface, extends, uh, implements the uh, iterable, and has list, set, and the queue. Okay? There is another framework. It is called map. It is not extending the framework. This is very important because programmers have miss, uh, missed this. And many programmers uh, did, did not differentiate between map and collection. 
So the map is a standalone interface. It does not uh, implement or extend from any one, uh, anything. It has sorted map interface, which is implemented by tree map. And we have hash map, hash map and linked hash map, enum map. We are not going to discuss this uh, now because we are going to see the very important and most important uh, properties and uh, things that you are going to use like tree map, hash map. Uh, we have, this is the map. We have also in the hierarchy, a dictionary, which is hash table and have properties. This is will be discussed later on hash table and we are going to see that iterator also has an interface extended by the interface list iterator. And we are going to dis discuss in a very big way that these two classes, these are concrete classes called arrays and collections. These are called orphans. These are called orphan classes because they are uh, they are not implemented by anything, but they have very useful things uh, for arrays and very useful things for the collections. So don't worry. This is this video is just an overview of what we are going to take in this section. Now, this is what we have talked about. We have talked about the collection. This is the interface collection it has add, remove, and these are the methods that we are going to see implements and extends the uh, interface iterable and we have set list queue these are implemented implementing the interface collection and we have one another is called map okay and we are going to see them in details so Thank you guys. I hope uh, you benefit from our uh, course and videos. I hope you rate us five stars on Udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys. See you in next videos. Hello, my friends. In this video, we will take time to discuss the concepts underlying the framework before we get into the detail of the collections themselves. So we will discuss the one above it's called iterable so we are going to discuss iterable and iterators an iterator is an object that implements the interface iterator please guys write this down in your notebooks and uh, uh, concentrate with me to understand what this means iterator this is the interface iterator it has an E as in a, an element. And we are going to see this E what, what means in the generics. But till now you need to understand the collections by understanding, not uh, diving into each concept because generics we are going to make uh, to understand it and lecture uh, and take exercises about it in the next uh, section. Please see this iterator. This is an interface that has a boolean method, a method that returns boolean, has next. So you will need to remember this. This return true if the iteration has more elements. Type E next method. It this method returns uh, E as its returning type and E is passed by generics and void remove okay so this is the remove remove the last element returned by the iterator and next return the next element in the iteration so this will return the next element in the iteration because it is a returning E which is mean element and void remove the last element returned by the iterator. 
Iterators. The purpose of iterators is to provide a uniform way of accessing collection elements sequentially. So whatever kind of collection you are dealing with and however it is implemented, you always know how to process its elements in turn. So we have a collection here. So call C O L L refers to an object which implemented uh, Im which implements collection, not the preferred idiom from Java five and so on. So we was using for, and we have used iterator. Collection dot iterator, iterator has next, and uh, the the. The increase is not the increasing uh, order is not specified here and we are printing every element in this collection but this is not the preferred now iterable this code will work with anything that implements the interface iterable that is anything that can produce uh, produce an iterator this is a declaration of iterable so i need from you to write the iterable uh, iterable here public iterable it has type t as generics and creates an iterator so it creates an iterator method that returns in turn a iterator of type t so return an iterator over element of type t don't worry you are not asked to write this uh, late in the in the courses or in the exams but you need to understand what are the relation and what uh, iterators and iterable so iterable makes an instance uh, and uh, sorry it's create a method called iterator that in turns return a iterator type so where we use iterable and iterators as i told you in the collections and we have seen before that the for a statement which you met in the previous video using the for each loop we can write the preceding code more concisely so for each object inside collection, create an object, name it O, such that I need from this O to be printed out. Okay, in Java 5, the collection interface was made to extend iterable. We have seen above in the previous slides that collection in, in extend uh, sorry implements uh, sorry extends iterable because they are interface both are interfaces Ex iterable so it is the top of these is called iterable so collection framework that we have is set list and the queue is implemented implementing interface collection and this collection extends iterable so the top level of these are iterable interface thus so any set list or queue can be the target of e for each loop as can a race okay so you can after java 5 and java 5 and above the collection implements a terrible and it is using the allows us to use for each loop with all collections okay this is the for each loop that is uh, our purpose to learn the iterable and the iterator so as a quick overview an iterator is an object that implements the interface iterator and we have learned iterator uh, interface this is the interface 
you can write it down. And these are the characteristics of iterator. And the iterable, we need to understand that uh, iterable has a method iterator. Uh, returning type is iterator of type T. This allows us, since the collection framework, since the collection framework or interface extends iterable, so we can add for each uh, for each for the uh, collection. So set now can use for each, list can use for each, and the queue can use for each uh, inside it to uh, get all the elements of its uh, collection. Okay, so I hope you understand it. We are going to uh, make a quick example about iterators. Okay, I have created an array list of type string called list. And inside this list, I will add dot add the names uh, like master coding app list dot add master coding pro app okay and list dot add master coding channel okay i ha i have just created an array list of strings that accept that uh, accepts strings and i have added three strings now in order to use the iterators i need iterate using iterators if you go back to the uh, array list uh, and your uh, array list section and you see how to uh, iterate through the elements of an array list we recall that we have three uh, we have three uh, ways to iterate and uh, see the elements of the element of the array list using the for each loop using for loop and using iterator okay using iterators I will not talk about the for each loop now, but I will talk about the iterator. So in order to use the iterator to loop through and iterate through uh, the elements of an array list or anything and any collection framework or any collection in Java, you need to use iterator. Go and uh, make this iterator uh, iterator. equal list dot iterator okay and I told you that you need to specify the type of parameter so row use of parameterized class iterate you can use this but for type safety you should specify the what are the data type so I will specify it as a string okay so iterator of type string having a, a returning or data type string iterator list dot iterator method as i told you inside iterator if you click control and uh, and hover the mouse and click right, left click you can go to the interface iterator you see here the has next method the e uh, the returning uh, method of type E called next. And if we scroll down, we have see the remove and uh, for each remaining also has next. You see guys and dot next. Okay. Now, while 
I will use while I t iterator dot has next. I have used this method has next. It will return it true if the element uh, has next and it is not null. What I need from this loop, I need to create. I need to print out system dot out dot print all elements of iterator. So I specify uh, iterator dot next. So this would be the object that it is received by the iterator. Now let's run and see. And here we go, guys. All elements of this array list are created. So we are using iterator to loop through the elements of the collection. Now, if you want, if you want to get it uh, like uh, alone, you can write like this string object. I can create every time an object that would be i will cast this without casting because i have string iterator dot next okay and i can put here obg let's run and it is the same result in this way i have uh, like uh, constructed and extracted the object from the iterator dot next every time with this loop will has next okay it's the same but uh, you you can write whatever you want okay but and uh, the one thing that i have uh, told you about the for each loop which is introduced by the iterators and since every the collection interface extends iterable interface we can now use for each in all collections you can use you can use for each in all frame uh, in all collections okay so how to use it as i told you for string s inside the list system dot out dot print ln s this coding is like this thanks for iterable for that allows us to use for each loop with collections let's run and see and here we go guys we have the same uh, result so it's uh, good to understand the iteratable, iterat iterable and the iterators and that allows us to uh, loop through every element inside the collection. This is the main purpose of iterator. And we are now allowed for uh, using the for each loop for in collection. Thank you guys. I will see you in next videos. In this video, we are going to talk about the collection interface, its methods, and how we implement it, and how to write the code in Java. So, as I told you, the collection interface extends the iterable, and we have learned about the iterable. Now, we are going to talk about the collection and we see its methods and how to use them the collection interface defines the core functionality that we expect from any collection other than a map it's very important so this is a very important statement it is other than map we will concentrate on this later on when we are going to talk about the map and how to iterate and how to use its own methods and because it's not implementing the collection interface or not extending the interface of collection. It provide, provides methods in four groups. So 
collection interface provides methods in four groups. These are the methods of the collection interface. The first uh, group is adding elements. So, as I told you, these methods you can, can use with set, queue, and list. Okay? Don't miss them. These are the methods that we can use with all other uh, other uh, implementation, any other concrete classes that implements the collection framework and the collection interface. So, like list, list has linked list, array list, so we add, uh, we can use add and add all. And these two methods that we can use to add elements. And we have seen in the previous videos about the array list. If you go back and see how to add elements in the array list, we have used a method called add. And this method add has been inherited from the collection interface. Since array list inherits and implements the list interface, and list interface extends collection interface, so the, this add method has been acquired and uh, inherited and can be used inside the array list. And you can use in the same way uh, the linked list. You can use with the queue and the deck. And also you can use with the three set, hash set, and set framework. Okay? So I need from you to write these down because they are very important and I can't uh, start uh, and we are going step by step and I can't uh, like uh, uh, skip steps like collection a terrible and start with linked list you need to understand every steps from the above hierarchy to the lowest hierarchy this is the best way of teaching this is the best way I am following to allow you to understand everything and master Java, as I promised you in the beginning of this course. So, please guys, add elements, write them down. We have add method and add all method. This add method accepts object and returns boolean. It returns uh, true or false if this element is has been added or not so the boolean result returned by these methods and also the boolean here for add all the boolean result returned by these methods indicate whether the collection was changed by the call it can be false for collection as such as set which will be unchanged if they are asked to add an element that is already presented. And as I told you that the set is a collection that accepts only unique elements, no duplicates inside set. So uh, this, this will return false if the element is uh, presented inside the set and you are adding duplicates. But the method contracts specify uh, contracts specify that the element being added must be presented after execution. So, if the collection refuses an element for any other reason, these methods must throw an exception. Okay? The signature of these methods show that, as you might expect, you, add, you can add elements or, ele uh, or element collection only of the parametric type okay parametric type the second group is removing elements we have four methods also we have seen them in the array list we have used uh, remove and uh, remove uh, and uh, remove all if the element zero is null remove removes a null so this object here it's a returning type also boolean boolean and boolean except for the clear because it will clear everything so uh, if element zero is null 
remove will removes this remove a method will removes a null from the collection if one is present otherwise if an element e is present for which zero dot equals or o object uh, equals to e it removes it if not it leaves the collection unchanged where a method in this group returns a boolean the value is true if the collection changed as a result of applying the operator okay so it will return true if the collection has been changed in contrast to the methods of for adding elements these methods and those of the next group will accept elements or element collection of any type this will explain in a moment and uh, the, this will be exp explained in the moment when we look in the example of using these methods so this are collection and collection the third type or the third group in our uh, in, in the collection are the method four methods contains contains all is empty and size the decision these are used for query the content of collection that this uh, contains return true if object is presented you pass object and you see if the collection contains this object contains all you pass collection as an argument and return it true if all element of c is uh, presented inside uh, this collection is empty or returns it true which is a boolean also these are boolean return if uh, return true if no element are presented is empty because we are going to use it very very uh, very frequently and in size this is a method return the element count or integer dot maximum value if that is less so the in size of the collection okay the decision to make size return integer dot max value for extremely large collection was probably taken uh, on the assumption that such collections with more than two billion element will rarely rarely arise. So these are the methods that we are going to use for querying and the, the content of the collection. The, th the fourth group of methods are the iterator to array and to array the first one which is iterator returns an iterator over the elements okay so this uh, group of elements making a collections content available for further processing so the iterator returns an iterator over the elements this is the iterator method returns an iterator over the elements to array copy elements to an object array it will copy the uh, elements to the object array and to array copy elements to a t array object array and t array the last two methods in this group converts the collection into arrays the first method will create a new array of object and the second will take an array of t type and returns an array of the same type containing the element of this of the collection these methods are important because although array uh, should now be regarded as legacy type, data type many avis especially older ones that predate uh, the java collection uh, framework have methods that accepts or return arrays these are as legacy so we have learned in this uh, uh, we are going to uh, implement uh, these methods and see these methods in the uh, java ide but i need from you to uh, understand these methods 
and how to use them uh, it, and how they are uh, converted, like categorized in four groups, add elements, remove elements, query the content of the collection and making the collection's content available for further processing. And these methods, we are going to use them with arrays, array lists, linked lists, which are uh, implementing the list, tree set and hash set, which implements the set, and the queue and the deck, which implements the queue interface. So these are uh, the collection uh, methods. And let's go to uh, IDE, our IDE. Here we go. Let's test the collection and implement the collection. Since collection is an interface, I can implement it directly. So collection and not collections. You see collection and collections. Okay. And I don't need from you to to uh, to be confused with collections and collection you see the what the first notice that the collection without s has a green one and telling us uh, that it is an interface because it has an i and while collections is a class having this this blue uh, circle and C inside it. So I for interface and C for class. Later I told you about the collections and the arrays method uh, classes and I told you that it is an orphan classes. And don't don't worry we are going to talk about this classes and the uh, next couple of videos inside this section so keep calm just follow me and we are uh, we, uh, we are very good uh, because we are a step by step uh, processing okay so i need the collection here and having of the element as a type element for the genetics You see, guys, I have imported, or the IDE has been importing the java.util.collection. So, collection here, I specify of type string. I need to create a collection of uh, like uh, best apps equal new, new. You see, guys, we have a three. Uh, we have many uh, things that we we can implement. Okay, so these are most of them are uh, the data types that we are going to use. You can create a, li a list. You can create an array list hash set. Uh, array deck, linked hash set, linked set, stack, vector, tree set, and much more. Okay, so till now I will create an array list because we have learned about it. Uh, and later on we are going to use the same concept and we are going to create the other things so collection of string best apps equal new array list i'm creating a collection what type of col of this collection it is of type an array list so best apps dot add you see guys i am going to show you the the methods now add add all clear contains contains all equal hash code is empty we have seen them in the in the object these are belongs for the object equal hash code and is empty 
remove, remove all, uh, remove if, retain all size to array and to array. You see, guys, these are the uh, iterator and much more. The stream is introduced in the later versions of uh, of uh, idea of uh, Java. But till now, we are going to use best apps dot add uh, master coding. Best apps dot add master coding pro. By the way, you can get all this documentation, get all the documentations of this course and others from the description below and downloading. master coding app from play store it is available for free okay as i told you i have created a collection of and i have specified that it would be an array list and inside this array list we have seen the methods here so i can also best apps dot to string to string to print all of the elements and you can use the iterator or for each loop but for simplicity i have shown to, uh, shown you uh, how to do that in the previous videos but till now i am going to show you uh, the simplest way is using to string Okay, to string will have uh, iter uh, this collection has an iterator and it loops it through to print out the objects master coding and master coding pro. So this is the collection for, uh, for, uh, interface, and later on we are going to learn about all of these new uh, list, new linked list new linked hash set linked uh, list reset hash set q deck and whatever you want okay so thank you guys i hope you benefit from our videos please uh, rate us five stars on udemy and subscribe to our youtube channel what's up guys in this video we are going to continue with the collection framework and we are going to learn about the set interface and we have learned in the previous videos about the iterable we have seen this interface and we have seen the collection interface and its methods and now we are going to talk about the set so set interface in java is present in java.util package it extends the collection interface it represented or represents the unordered set of elements which does not allow us to store the duplicate elements so please write down guys on your copybook and get these notes because they are very important sets are used to store the unordered set of elements which does not allow us to store the duplicate elements we can store at most one null value in set set is implemented by hash set because these are in green are concrete classes linked list uh, sorry linked hash set and the tree set so we are going to uh, use and learn about the hash set the linked hash set and the tree set which are Im implemented the implementing the interface set so let's go to the uh, to the ide intellij and see how these three sets work in uh, according with the sets so in the previous video we have created the collection and uh, we have used the array list now 
we are going to use, I will remove this. We are going to learn about the sets. So the first set, in order to create a set, we start by set. And you see guys that there is a type element E. So we have imported java.util.set, okay? We sp specify here the type parameter, which is string. I need to create a, stat, a set of a string. S1, new, I can't use set because an interface and it implements these methods. So I can't use the interface. I need to be to put here concrete class as you uh, as you know. What are the type of these concrete classes? I click control and space. I have hash set, linked hash set, and the tree set. I will start by hash set. And you can specify here the string, but since uh, since the latest versions of uh, JDK, we can remove this. In order to create a hash set, this is the implementation. Now let's create another one, another set of type also string called S2 equal to new not hash set i will create a linked hash set and set string of type string s3 equal to new three set okay these are the implementation, how to create a set in Java. So what are the difference between hash set, linked hash set, and the tree set? We are going to uh, see them in the next uh, videos. So we are going to create uh, a hash set, linked hash set, tree set, and work with them. And uh, we see the difference between each one. So. As a summary for the sets, sets, set interface. Let me show you here. Set interface, it in Java, present in Java util dot package. I can remove it. It extends the collection interface. Does not allow us to store duplicate elements. This is the most important thing. Okay. And it used represent the unordered set of elements. Okay. Please write this down and uh, write this also down because we are going to work with them in the later uh, latest uh, or the next videos and the projects. Thank you guys. Hello, my friends. We have seen before that the set is a collection that cannot contain duplicates. And we have talked about that set has three types. The hash set, linked hash set, and the tree set. Mainly, you may use the hash set and the tree set in your codes. A linked, a linked hash set is... Uh, not its rarely uh, usage. We will start in this lesson about the hash set. So, hash set. Please write uh, these comments uh, in your notebook because to understand them and to to save your uh, notes. A hash set is implemented using a special internally array called a hash table. So. It represents a collection that uses uses a hash table for storage. A hash table is 
hash table that places element into specific positions based upon integers uh, called hash codes. So hash uh, table it uses a hash table for storage and every java object has a hash code that can be accessed through its hash code method therefore a hash table that places element hash table for storage that places elements into specific Position, position, and based on, based upon integers called hash codes. Don't worry, we are going to learn more about hash codes. In, and hash table in the uh, next couple of videos but till now understand that hash set it uses a hash table for storage that place element into specific position based upon integers called hash codes we have created first uh, this the set s1 equal to new hash set so i will cut it and paste it here so in order to create a hash set we write set of uh, whatever you want of type but i will create it as a string s1 equal hash set or you can type here you can start as hash set exactly like this but for a professional coder you tell uh, the 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 one who who see the code who uh, who is reading your codes that hey i understand that a hash set is a, a concrete class and it is implementing the set um, interface and in this polymorphismic code i am telling you and uh, that i understand every concept in set so this is for professional writing and professional coders as i told you in order to to add to add uh, elements you can use add or add all these uh, methods we have seen them in a col in the collection uh, video so please go back to the collection video if you need to, uh, to learn more about these methods so add since we are adding element uh, elements of type string so hi or element element one s1 dot add element to s1 dot add element let's make duplicates element to s1 dot add element three we have created two duplicates the first element is one the second two the third is two the fourth is element three now let's print uh, the uh, set you can uh, write directly system that out to print the list but uh, throughout the collection uh, course i uh, and section we are going to use the iterator so iterate iterating over the collection uh, elements so in order to use iterator we start by iterator we pass the type of uh, of objects that we have put inside the string set which is string iterator equal to the oh, my set is s1 dot iterator and while iterator has next system 
that out dot print ln iterator dot next okay this I have created the hash set s1 I have added the elements I have added a duplicate elements to see the results and I am iterating over the elements of the collection let's run and see and here we go we it is printing for us the elements element one two and three but where is the element two in the third position you guess it guys i told you that the set is a collection that cannot contain duplicates it it when are you adding this s1 dot add element two it refuses uh, to add element two because element two is uh, already uh, contains contained inside the set so element two is inside the set we can't add element two okay this is a very important trick for using the sets okay it's a very important and it's very important usage for the set to have the unique and the prevent duplicates for the hash set i told you it uses a hash table that we are going to see later on and for storage that places elements into specific position based upon integers called hash code i told you that every object in java has it has it its own hash code so for that we are done with the hash set we added the elements and remove and it refuses to add duplicates and we iterated over the collection which is the set hello my friends in this video we are going to talk about the linked hash set in the previous videos we have introduced the set and we say that a, a set is a collection that cannot contain duplicates and we have introduced the first type of uh, set which is a hash set and we say that it uses a hash table for storage and uh, specific element uh, position based upon integers called hash codes now what is a linked hash set a linked hash set is an ordered version ordered version of hash set that maintains a doubly linked list across all elements when the iteration order is needed to be maintained this class is used when iterating through a hash set the order is unpredictable while the linked list linked hash set sorry you, uh, let's uh, let's us uh, iterate through the elements in the order in which they are inserted so when the iteration when you need the iteration when the order of elements as they are uh, inserted is important use the linked hash set i will create i will copy this cut paste and in this way we are creating linked hash set now s2 dot add a s2 dot add b s2 dot add c s2 dot add d s2 dot add i will add the duplicates and i will show you it will maintain the, the uniqueness so it refuses to add d two times and i will insert e okay in order to iterate through s2 uh, through the linked hash set it is the same among all collections so i copy this and i will paste it iterator 2 s2 iterator 2 iterator 2 okay 
I will comment comment this and etc. So in this way we are getting the uniqueness of codes and maintain the uniqueness of elements A, B, C, D and E. It removes this. Now let me show you and uh, by the way it It, it maintains the the way elements are inserted. Hash, the hash set alone, it's not predictable how it will make the insert the, the insertion or the order of the elements. So always use linked hash set when if it, when you need to um, to maintain the order of the inserted elements. Now let's me let me uh, remove s2 dot remove element d okay let's run and see and here we go a b c and e it maintains the order of the list and the uh, element inserted element order okay so as i told you the linked hash set is an ordered version of hash set that maintains a doubly linked list across all elements in this video we are going to talk about the tree set hello my friends and welcome to the java, complete java developer course we have seen before how to create a linked hash set and we have learned about the hash set which are the two types of the set and as I recall we told that set is a collection that cannot contain duplicates okay so it maintained the uniqueness of elements let let me uh, introduce the three sets Java tree set class implement the set interface that uses a tree for storage. We have seen this in the, uh, in the, in the presentation about the sets. So please go back if you want to, the, to see the hierarchy or download the presentation and the files from the resources in the description below. Link like hash set. Tree set also contain unique elements like hash set or linked hash set. Linked hash set is a subset of or subclass of hash set. However, the access and retrieval time of tree set is quite fast. The element in tree set sorted in ascending order. This is very important and this is very important. So we will see these notes uh, uh, soon. A tree set uses an internal linked data structure called binary search tree to store. Okay, for storage. This is used as a tree. So, it uses binary search tree to store its elements. Okay in sorted order okay so we would like to discuss binary tree implementation later on uh, in this course so don't worry a tree set is efficient for adding removing and searching through it's a bit slower than a hash set now a tree set can be useful if you want to print the set and have the output ordered. It is a tree set. Okay. So, for example, I will show you now th what this means in codes. So, in order to create a tree set, you just create set interface of string s3 new tree set okay now s3 dot add a s3 dot add 
the s3 dot add b and s3 dot add b i have changed this and s3 dot add b what i have made is changing the order of elements and I have added a duplicate. Let's run and see. We will, we will not uh, see any, anything. I will just comment the previous uh, lesson. And I need to iterate through the elements. So in order to iterate, it is the same using the iterator. Iterator S3. Okay, now let's run and see. And you see guys, it's very important that Java tree set implements these classes, the set interface, and it uses binary search tree to store the element in sorted order. So it search is it used A, it add B, C and b but they are in order so it uses binary search tree to you to store the element in ordered list so if you want to add the elements in a sorted way you are using you are going to use the tree set so you see guys it stores the element in order in sorted order Later on, we will learn about binary search tree, so you uh, understand what uh, this means. So, uh, between as a comparison between the hash set and tree set, hash set extremely fast performance for add and contains and remove tasks can be used with any type of objects as its element. While the tree set, what are the strengths of the tree set? Elements are sort, stored in sorted order, as we have seen, must be used with elements that can, can be compared, such as integer and string. It uses, as I told you, the natural, uh, natural comparison. It compares the element like string in the alphabetical order while the integer it is start by ascending order from the smallest to the greatest okay it's very important to understand these three types we are going to use uh, in our project uh, mainly the tree set and the hash set but the most important is the tree set Okay, this is for the sets. We are going to take a practical exercise about lottery, and uh, see for that. I will hope. I hope you uh, stay safe, and see you next videos.